Your body oxygen. never breathe like when you bend down. Anytime you bend down, your body take a look at your What the way they bomb? What go on everybody when you don't know see a bam bam? And it's your girl Nene. Welcome back to Nene and Bam Bam's World. Woo 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 <laughs> Make sure only remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend, friend, friend. Thank you guys very much for the support so far. We really appreciate it. Yes. Thanks, 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 thanks. Gracias, señoritas and señores. <laughs> so we're going to be doing a, basically a Q&A part. Uno, dos, the one, two, whatever you want to call it. It's part two. So, I'm going to know we'll do a Q&A with you. Yeah. No, that one here, that one here, one wicked one. Apparently, the one we did one. the other day was like a virgin. And that, may I say? So now tonight, they got us all the way broken out. Yeah, real mm. skittle Q&A this. Um, Y'all yeah, got your thing, Bowie. No. Mm. <laughs> Minus the skittle part. So, um, guys, we are doing a, a tag, a, a video tag with some Jamaican YouTubers. Yes. So, very talented people. Yeah. We are definitely excited to be a part of the group. Yep. And we are the last ones to be tagged in, right? Yeah. We were um we were tagged by Lee Longley. So big up yourself, Lee Longley. We have a few more YouTubers, Glenn, um, Tony and Tiana, and who was the other person? And T and D. The, they were all um a part of this tag mm -hmm. so uh, we'll put their links in our description so you can take a look at their videos as well and yes. of course subscribe to their channel yes um if you're new to ours again guys just remember to subscribe so let's dive into it okay and it's you guys let us know if you like the look of chill vibe we are going on tonight you know nothing too uptight you know we just they are just a relax yeah mm. like i've had quite a few shots of fantasy already so i'm very let me know the shirts free yeah they don't know that Shrubs. Question numero uno. Mm. Why did we start YouTubing? Well, we started YouTube because Rene funny as hell. You guys get 1.0 in a damn video. We get 2.0 at home. And I wanted to share it with the world to see how funny she is. I think she even underestimated how funny she is. I'm and me, I just the backup singer in all of this. You're actually my cheerleader. However, I'm not funny. She is. She's very funny. I wanna see it okay, hold it on right in the comment section. Big up on the same. But that's the reason why we started. But no, we see say it's a go out with that thing where they have to make money. Correct. Right, Mucho dinero. I we don't want, know nothing about nothing but money. Yeah, we want people for have fun with the videos, but we also want to make money. Because enough right. time we are putting it. But I do this for y'all. You got it. Name three J A YouTubers that you would like to collaborate with. Right. Gio and Ken, straight. hands down, right? Yo, yes, Gio is funny AF. Nah, he nah, always nah, be nah, up nah. The stuff. Team Ken for me, straight. No, but I can I get there? Okay. Cause Ken bosses up on him and gives himself a rotted like out <laughs> time. So, <laughs> yo Ken, we gotta meet up when I get to Jamaica next, cause we about to do it. <laughs> and right. the other two are um, Tony and Tiana. Definitely Tony and Tiana. Hands These up. are my baby, baby, baby. Me after do a collab with them, and I know all about it. I go do it, mm -hmm. and then. Um, journey to Glenn. Glenn. Glenn, Glenn be puffing on that reefer. On okay, so my thing is, anybody who's chill vibes, you can be yourself. I can be myself. We can really just get to that next level of yeah. chill and euphoria. You guys need to oh, check him out. Like, seriously. Check out Journey with Glenn. He always has a spliff in his motherfucking hand or mouth. And <laughs> He's he a vibe. Good jokes. He's a Big trans vibe. man. He's a Jamaican trans man. He's a Basically. vibe. Check him out, guys. Yeah, you guys will love Glenn. Mm -hmm. Real cool. When or how did you know you were LGBTQ+. Honestly, I think this would be an easier question if they would ask me, when did you know you're straight? Because I've always, <laughs> always known that i am the way i am um i couldn't i can't give you guys an age i've always known this has always been my life well for me as i told you guys the last video um i just love people in general i'm not gonna segment myself to say i was always this or always that 
my first encounters were definitely with females. I had a great spin at guys, but it just is what it is. I like females. I think I can be myself more when I'm in a female relationship. That's always what it's been. So I don't think I knew at a time. Right. How do you deal with homophobia? Ugh. I'm either level one or level two. I'm either dark or bright. Me either go attack, we attack me, and it's gonna be really dark. Give them what them I look for. Or, my cutoff game is really strong. If you're a family or a friend or, or a close, you know, close person to me, and you really show your homophobia so strong, I feel like any, like any type of hate like that, mm -mm, I don't want you around me. I'm not saying that you have to be into what I'm into. What I'm saying is we're, I'm a person, you're a person, we're all people. Let's just respect each other. Point blank, period. Anything you give me, me give. I'm mean, not care if you're fat, slim, short, tall. And whatever you want to do is your choice. So anything you give me, me give you. If you come at me with eight, me go come at you even harder with eight. So me see it. <laughs> very, very, very. <laughs> Um, I'm just gonna say, luckily, I live in Canada, so homophobia is, like, one of those things that's not so much tolerated here, but since my background is Jamaican, and I'm with a Jamaican, I understand homophobia, and if you really know me, I'm the nicest person ever, but I can be a super bitch, so if you want to be homophobic and rude, you can go, suck your mother, suck your mother, because I don't really care. <laughs> All right, so are you sure about your sexuality? And if so, how are you sure that you're sure? <laughs> I'm sure that I'm sure because I'm sure. This is it. Team. This like is even it. any male that I've been with has to know, like if girls can't be involved and I can't be involved. So yeah. I'm absolutely sure like 10 plus, 7 plus, 18 plus. Yeah, I have brothers, I have cousins. I love them all, but... Even guys on the streets, I don't see them in that sense. So I think I'm, I'm, I am pretty sure. Yeah. Like most males are my friends. And although they think I'm sexy, I don't feel it back. So <laughs> shout out to you, non-sexy my niggas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is your body count? Yo, my body count is too much to count. What? So I ain't even going to try to answer that and embarrass myself. My body count is too much to count. I saw my seed. Well, one of us has to take the Virgin Mary at <laughs> home. I'm going to say Nanya. Nanya. Nanya goddamn business. <laughs> <laughs> right. How important is sex in a relationship to you? One to ten. Renee is a ten. I'm about an eight. <laughs> <laughs> what? You's about a what? A eight. Okay, guys, since she answered for me, I'm going to answer for her. So, how important is sex to me? I would say I agree with the 10. How important is sex to the Ross? The Ross is going to say sex is eight. What a bum a clap lie she at <laughs> Sex is like, let's say five. She's that type of person, like, if I had balls, she'd make them blue a lot. <laughs> What outfit on a man or woman turns you on the most? Well, anything that shows her legs is good for me. Like she can be fully clothed all the way and then her legs are showing. I'm charging for I'm touches less. tonight. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> um, For me, I just think once you look clean, groomed, like you always dress nice. Oh, we know that Thank so you. and you always smell nice i never i never had a time where you smell kind of fugazi you know what i'm saying so whatever just whatever i i like i like her in house clothes so you don't let me not go with clothes i like her in house clothes because you get to see more and i can imagine more <laughs> Especially with that booty. And if you Okay, okay, I think we're going off topic. Next question. Now we right on the topic with that booty. <laughs> Anywho. So what are your thoughts on eating that booty like groceries? Daddy, the booty like groceries. 
Gotta get rid period. of these hoes for me. Mm. No. If you want me to expose the free. So are you the store? That's well, if you... me at the grocery store, I can't go and eat. But personally, <laughs> me not going to eat nothing like grocery. Ooh. <laughs> so you asked, I told you, I'm not hungry, but I'll be that grocery store. <laughs> All right. We're good, man. We're not feeding a grocery on here. Starvation is going, is it? You see it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But I'm just generally saying. Yeah. Thoughts on anal sex. Only one thing should be coming out of there or going in. Oxygen in, shit out. Oxygen in? Yeah. Your body Oxygen never breathe like when you bend down. Anytime you bend down, your body taking look at your What the way they move? Where's the look while? I <laughs> never feel it. Did like, this girl say when she bend down oxygen? I said, in. not just me. Are you alone? You cannot talk to me. <laughs> Are your body must Yo, well loose. See, look at that. You motherfucking Jamaicans. You are so homophobic that you guys think even air can't slide through that sheet. Okay, anal. Motherfucking air coming through. Anal ain't it. No, I ain't fucking with the anal. There's no place. Strap. Real dick, finger, pencil. From my understanding, down, there's no them. pleasure in that. No, man. The only thing me want to run this is shit. <laughs> After I eat a good meal, you know? <laughs> All right. Thoughts on fisting. What is that? This. In a yo. That's a no for me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that ain't it. Sleeping with your partner. Should you be fully clothed, partially clothed, or none at all? I'm going to take this one. Okay. So, for me, I, 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 don't, I don't really like clothes. And if I'm trying to be, like, you know, good, just in case, I'll wear, like, something. But I believe that you should be in your birthday suit when you go to sleep. Because you never know. You should always be pre prepared for success. And I believe you should... You know, wear something because again, you never know. You might need to run out of that house, my nigga. Yeah, my house coat's naked? always right, right, right on the night, night table. And I know people be like, "That's where glasses and books go." But like you said, if there's a fire, you gotta be prepared. So as you can see, there's a battle for us. Me always in a something. I'm always she ready always for something. Nothing. It's either the fire or the fire. <laughs> What? Either way, I'm ready. So that's all okay. So do you prefer a tight or loose, loose, sorry, punane? Okay. Well, for me. Hey, my sister, ask that question again. Do you prefer mm -hmm. a tight yeah. or loose yeah. punane? Oh, <laughs> hey. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Jesus says, tight pun on it. Wait, 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 wait. Let's talk about these. Like, this is a serious question that needs to nah, go. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, hold on. Let me see. Because me know to say enough loose all the alley there with before me, you know. What? Well, the fact say I take so long. But not take, take long. All right. So, I am not the strapper. Even with females I've been with before. However, if I just so happen to need my put my fingers in there and it's getting in there too quickly, yeah, you probably ain't gonna be the one for a nigga like me. <laughs> so how about you? Yo, so tight is the way to go. But as if you youth them out there way, you know, me, me, me empathize with you, me, me, me feel bad for you if I if I lose one you go. <laughs> But if you're going to lose one, always remember, there's different positions that you can turn that woman in and make that loose into a tight. Never forget that, my G. So how would you know? That's coming from the coach. Remember, me, not, me, never, me can't even tell you my body count. So I've had it all. Mm -hmm. Next question. I'm not okay. Next question, at least. Me tell us a you tight. Well, we knew that. Hold Come on, in. hold on, hold on. Hold on. If you got this far, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell us if you think tight or loose is the way to go. Yeah, please. Tell us if you be talking about eating the booty like grocery. Woo! 
tell us if you be commando ready for the fire or the fire because <laughs> we need to know oh lord okay yes all right my sister yes my brother <laughs> Tight or loose, okay. Do you prefer a small, medium, or large strap? I guess that's for me, you know, you know. Yeah, I'm a preference. Fun. Well Would it, you like to have a tickle dick when you're going for the gal down? Never that. So it's small as the question. <laughs> for me for me, I think I'm gonna go with medium because me know I run. <laughs> And again, just remember, I'm there for teaching, you know. What the f you have to teach them? I'm there to teach them. We're nobody will get the big, big, big sitting there for rum, 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 rum out the woman, them man. Like, just take on the time, man. Sometimes we don't even feel how I go on and mash up the woman, then whoom. Like, take on the time, man. Use a little something. I bet you use a little medium size something <laughs> and work it right, brother. And that's not me at all, brother. Okay, okay, okay. Remember, it come from the coach. All right, coach, medium. Yeah. <laughs> all right have you ever experienced a golden shower i get the feeling that's to do with like pee right i'm talking about you get the feeling like you don't know what it is my nigga have you done it before have you i don't know nanya nanya what? do you remember her nanya, what? nanya business yeah no i don't remember me never do that have you ever gotten it no i've done it <laughs> you've done it. Okay, okay. You see, I'm a leader to the truth. So you've done it. Like I said, I'll be your grocery store. I'll be your shower. Usa. So if your mom and your spouse were drowning, who would you save? I'll let you go first, Tani. Well, I'm not only the honest to God truth, you know. Me love my mother. I mean, love my spouse. So you see, if there's an option where I can join and make the two of them live, and that me I do. You see, if I can't do that, I want mother to get still, you know. So I save my mother. I mean, know my woman is alright with that, because I know she's going to save her mother too. Facts. I'm going to recommend one to save her mother too. Facts. One to get, brother. One. I'm saying, like... My mom is my ride or die bitch. Yeah, mom, I didn't call you a bitch. I'm just saying figuratively <laughs> like you're my ride or die bitch. <laughs> so I would definitely die for you, nigga. Yeah. So yeah, you ain't got to ask me uno, dos, or tres. Yeah. I'm mother of the council or I'm a funeral. I'm my mother of the council. She, Fakes. Yeah, how it go? Correct. She yeah. would console me at your funeral. Yeah. Can you say no, funeral, baby? No, she would me at your funeral. Yeah, dead nigga. Oh, no, we were saying you were dying. Yeah, well, you're, you're the one who said you were drawn or dying. That, I didn't selfless. answer yet. No. <laughs> so, um, can you say funeral? Funeral. 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 No, say funeral. Funeral. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Yo, yeah. So, we mm. hope you enjoyed part two. Of course you guys did. I'm going to do a special insert because it's a very, very, very special day today. My wash belly, as the Jamaicans call it. It's his birthday. Shout out to Ethan. You guys will meet him soon. Happy 8th birthday to my baby. Pull up the comment section, guys. We're going to make him yes. read them. Pull yes. up the comment section. Happy birthday, Ethizzle. Yes. Or Ethan, Help whichever you want. wish him a happy, 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 happy birthday. Coolest kid on the block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We want to thank you guys all for being so up to the time with us in our videos following us on instagram on our personal pages for the video shout out to her um so yes guys i want to thank you or we want to thank you once again for you know just supporting us we really yes. appreciate it you see you know what because you guys have been so amazing to us because you guys have been supporting us we're there for about one month our statistics looks like we're there for about a year Guess what we're gonna do? Surprise giveaway. Oh what? surprise giveaway. Okay. Anybody can write the first person to write that word here. Win something. What's the word, baby? Flowers. 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 Alright. First person to write flowers, win something. And guess and what? Here is a little bit of trivia. And guess what? You see the person will win. 
get to choose somebody else to win a second prize. And that we can't give away. Them Damn. choose anybody in the comment section. Okay, so hold one. I feel like we forgot three. You know what? We have got three giveaway. Oh. You see the third one? The birthday boy. Any comment when put it in pine pan, I will get a prize. Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Easy. Yes. Yes. Please, guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell friend. another friend. motherfucking friend. That me know. <laughs> Nene and Bam Bam's world is where it's at. Yeah.